Chapter 4 Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. When he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was hungry afterward. The tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become bread. But he answered, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Then the devil took him into the holy city. He set him on the pinnacle of the temple and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you, and on their hands they will bear you up so that you don't dash your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, Again, it is written, You shall not test the Lord your God. Again the devil took him to an exceedingly high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. He said to him, I will give you all of these things if you will fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said to him, Get behind me, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and you shall serve him only. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and served him. Now when Jesus heard that John was delivered up, he withdrew into Galilee. Leaving Nazareth, he came and lived in Capernaum, which is by the sea in the region of Zebulun and Naphtali, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken through Isaiah the prophet, saying, The land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali toward the sea, beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people who sat in darkness saw a great light. To those who sat in the region and shadow of death, to them light has dawned. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. He said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers for men. They immediately left their nets and followed him. Going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, in the boat with Zebedee, their father, mending their nets. He called them. They immediately left the boat and their father and followed him. Jesus went about in all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and every sickness among the people. The report about him went out into all Syria. They brought to him all who were sick, afflicted with various diseases and torments, possessed with demons, epileptics and paralytics, and he healed them. Great multitudes from Galilee, Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and from beyond the Jordan followed him. Mateo Kapitulo 4 Unya, gidala sa Jesus Espiritu Santo ngadto sa dapit nga awaaw aron tintalon sa yawa. Didto nagpuasa sa Jesus sulod sa 40 kaadlaw ug 40 kagabi ug unya gigutom siya. Ug miduol kaniya ang yawa nga nagingon. Anak ko man ka sa Dios. Himo ang pan kining mga bago. Mitubag si Jesus. Ang kasulatan nag-ingon, Ang tao mabuhi dili sa pan lamang, kundili sa matagpulong usab nga isulti sa Diyos. 
unya gidalase su sayawa ngadto sa Jerusalem ang balaang syudad. O gipatindog siya sa kinatas ang bahin sa templo o giingnan. Anak ka magkaha sa Diyos! Ambak ngadto sa ubos, kinagingon man ang kasulatan. Ang Diyos magsugo sa iyang mga anghel, magbantay kanimo. Sabnayon kanila arong dili maikong sa bato, bisan gani ang imong tiil. Sa Jesus mitubag, Apa nag-ingon usab ang kasulatan, ayaw tintala ang ginoo nga imong Diyos. Unya gidala sa Jesus ayawa ngadto sa usa ka habog kaayong bukid o gipakita kaniya ang tanang gingharian sa kalibutan o ang ilang kaanindot. Ang yawa miingon. Ihatag ko kanimo kining tanan, kung muluhod ka, ug musimba ka na ko. Mitubag si Jesus, pahawa sa tanas. Ang kasulatan nag-ingon, simbaha ang ginoo ngay mong Diyos, ug siya lamang ang alagari. Busa ang yawa mibiya kaniya, ug unya nangabot ang mga anghel, ug miatiman kaniya. Sa pagkadungog ni Jesus nga gibilanggo si Juan, Mibalik siya sa lalawigan sa Galilea. Mibiya siya sa Nasaret o didto mipuyo sa Kapirnaum. Usa ka lungsod daplin sa lanaw sa Galilea, sa kayutaan sa Sabulon o Neftali. Sa ingon, natuman ang gisulti ni Propita Isayas. Yuta sa Sabulon o Yuta sa Neftali. Agianan padulong sa dagat, tabok sa Hurdan, Galilea. Dapit sa mga dili hudiyo, ang mga tao nga nagpuyo sa kangit-ngit, nakakitag dakong kahayag. Kanila nga nagpuyo sa mangit-ngit nga yuta sa kamatayon, midanag ang kahayag. Sukad ni Adto, si Jesus misugod pagwali nga nag-ingon. Hinulsuli ang inyong mga sala, kay hapit na maghari ang Diyos. Samtang naglakaw si Jesus daplin sa lanaw sa Galilea, nakita niya ang duha ka magsuong mananagat nga namukot, si Simon nga ginganlag Pedro ug si Andres. Si Jesus miingon kanila, Huyog kamu kanako, ug tudluan ko kamu sa pagpanagat ug mga tao. Diha-diha, gibiyaan nila ang ilang mga pukot ug mikuyog kaniya. Mipadayon siya paglakaw ug nakita niya ang laing duha ka magsuon si Santiago ug si Juan nga mga anak ni Sibidio Didto sila sa ilang sakayan uban sa ilang amahan nag-ayo sa ilang mga pukot Gitawag sila ni Jesus ug diha-diha gibiyaan nila ang ilang sakayan ug ang ilang amahan ug mikuyog sila kaniya Unya gilibot ni Jesus ang tibuok Galilea ug nagtudlo siya sulod sa ilang mga sinaguga. Nagwali sa maayong balita bahin sa paghari sa Diyos ug nag-ayo sa mga masakiton. Mikailap sa tibuok lalawigan sa Syria ang iyang kabantog ug gidala sa mga tao ngadto kaniya ang tanang nag-anto sa nagkalainlaing mga sakit ug mga balatian, mga giyawaan, mga patulon, mga paralitiko, o giayo ni Jesus silang tanan. Misunod kaniya ang daghang mga tao gikan sa Galilea, sa Dikapulis, sa Jerusalem, sa Hudiya, o tabok sa Hurdan. Chapter 4 Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. When he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was hungry afterward. The tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, 
command that these stones become bread. But he answered, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Then the devil took him into the holy city. He set him on the pinnacle of the temple and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you, and on their hands they will bear you up, so that you don't dash your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, Again it is written, You shall not test the Lord your God. Again the devil took him to an exceedingly high mountain, and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. He said to him, I will give you all of these things if you will fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said to him, Get behind me, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and you shall serve him only. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and served him. Now when Jesus heard that John was delivered up, he withdrew into Galilee. Leaving Nazareth, he came and lived in Capernaum, which is by the sea, in the region of Zebulun and Naphtali, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken through Isaiah the prophet, saying, The land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali toward the sea, beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people who sat in darkness saw a great light. To those who sat in the region and shadow of death, to them light has dawned. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. He said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers for men. They immediately left their nets and followed him. Going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James the son of Zebedee and John his brother, in the boat with Zebedee their father, mending their nets. He called them. They immediately left the boat and their father and followed him. Jesus went about in all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and every sickness among the people. The report about him went out into all Syria. They brought to him all who were sick, afflicted with various diseases and torments, possessed with demons, epileptics and paralytics, and he healed them. Great multitudes from Galilee, Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and from beyond the Jordan followed him. Mateo Kapitulo 4 Unya, gidala sa Jesus Espiritu Santo ngadto sa dapit nga awaaw aron tintalon sa yawa. Didto nagpuasa sa Jesus sulod sa 40 ka adlaw ug 40 ka gabi ug unya gigutom siya. Ug miduol kaniya ang yawa nga nagingon. Anak ko man ka sa Dios. Himuang pad kining mga bato. Mitubag si Jesus. Ang kasulatan nag-ingon, Ang tao mabuhi dili sa pan lamang, kundili sa matagpulong usab nga isulti sa Diyos. Unya gidala si Jesus sa yawa ngadto sa Jerusalem, ang balaang syudad, o gipatindog siya sa kinatas ang bahin sa templo o giingnan. 
Anak ka magkahan sa Diyos. Ambak nga to sa ubos, kinag-ingon man ang kasulatan. Ang Diyos, magsugo sa iyang mga anghel, pagbantay kanimo. Sabnayon kanila, anong dili maikong sa bato, bisan gani ang imong tiil. Si Jesus mitubag, apa nag-ingon usab ang kasulatan, ayaw tintala ang ginoo nga imong Diyos. Unya gidala si Jesus sa yawa ngadto sa usa ka habog kaayong bukid o gipakita kaniya ang tanang gingharian sa kalibutan o ang ilang kaanindot. Ang yawa miingon. Ihatag ko kanimo kining tanang. Kung muluhod ka, o musimba ka na ko. Mitubag si Jesus. Pahawa sa tanas. Ang kasulatan nag-ingon. Simbaha ang ginoo ngay mong Diyos. Ug siya lamang ang alagari. Busa ang yawa mibiya kaniya, ug unya nangabot ang mga anghel, ug miatiman kaniya. Sa pagkadungog ni Jesus nga gibilanggo si Juan, mibalik siya sa lalawigan sa Galilea. Mibiya siya sa Nasaret, ug didto mipuyo sa Kapirnaum. Usa ka lungsod daplin sa lanaw sa Galilea, sa kayutaan sa Sabulon ug Neftali. Sa ingon, natuman ang gisulti ni Propita Isayas. Yuta sa Sabulon o Yuta sa Neftali, agianan padulong sa dagat, tabok sa Hurdan, Galilea, dapit sa mga dili hudiyo, ang mga tao nga nagpuyo sa kangit-ngit, nakakitag dakong kahayag, kanila nga nagpuyo sa mangit-ngit nga yuta sa kamatayon, midanag ang kahayag. Sukad ni Adto, si Jesus misugod pagwali nga nag-ingon. Hinulsuli ang inyong mga sala, kay hapit na maghari ang Diyos. Samtang naglakaw si Jesus daplin sa lanaw sa Galilea, nakita niya ang duha ka magsuong mananagat nga namukot. Si Simon nga gingan lag Pedro o si Andres. Si Jesus miingon kanila. Uyog ka mo kanako. Ugtudluan ko kamu sa pagpanagat ug mga tao. Diha-diha, gibiyaan nila ang ilang mga pukot ug mikuyog kaniya. Mipadayon siya paglakaw ug nakita niya ang laing duha ka magsuon. Si Santiago ug si Juan nga mga anak ni si Bidio. Didto sila sa ilang sakayan uban sa ilang amahan. Nag-ayo sa ilang mga pukot. Gitawag sila ni Jesus. Ug diha diha gibiyaan nila ang ilang sakayan ug ang ilang amahan ug mikuyog sila kaniya. Unya gilibot ni Jesus ang tibuok Galilea ug nagtudlo siya sulod sa ilang mga sinaguga. Nagwali sa maayong balita bahin sa paghari sa Dios ug nag-ayo sa mga masakiton. Mikailap sa tibuok lalawigan sa Syria ang iyang kabantog o gidala sa mga tao ngadto kaniya ang tanang nag-anto sa nagkalainlaing mga sakit o mga balatian, mga giyawaan, mga patulun, mga paralitiko o giayo ni Jesus silang tanan. Misunod kaniya ang daghang mga tao gikan sa Galilea, sa Dikapulis, sa Jerusalem, sa Hudiya o tabok sa Hurdan. Mateo Matthew 4 Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. He fasted forty days and forty nights, and afterwards he was famished. The tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. But he answered, 
It is written, One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city, and placed him on the pinnacle of the temple, saying to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you, and on their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, Again it is written, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Again the devil took him to a very high mountain, and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. And he said to him, All these I will give you, if you will fall down and worship me. Jesus said to him, Away with you, Satan! For it is written, Worship the Lord your God, and serve only him. Then the devil left him, and suddenly angels came and waited on him. Now when Jesus heard that John had been arrested, he withdrew to Galilee. He left Nazareth and made his home in Capernaum by the sea in the territory of Zebulon and Naphtali, so that what had been spoken through the prophet Isaiah might be fulfilled. Land of Zebulon, land of Naphtali, on the road by the sea across the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people who sat in darkness have seen a great light, and for those who sat in the region and shadow of death, light has dawned. From that time Jesus began to proclaim, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. As he walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fish for people. Immediately they left their nets and followed him. As he went from there, he saw two other brothers, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, in the boat with their father Zebedee, mending their nets, and he called them. Immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him. Jesus went throughout Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, and curing every disease and every sickness among the people. So his fame spread throughout all Syria, and they brought to him all the sick, those who were afflicted with various diseases and pains, demoniacs, epileptics, and paralytics, and he cured them. And great crowds followed him from Galilee, the Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and from beyond the Jordan. Mateo capítulo 5 Mateo capítulo 4 Unya, gidala sa Jesus Espiritu Santo ngadto sa dapit nga awaaw aron tintalon sa yawa. 
didto nagpuasa sa Yesus sulod sa kwarinta kaadlaw o kwarinta kagabi e, ug unya gigutom siya. Ug miduol kaniya ang yawa nga nagingon. Anak ka man ka sa Diyos, himuang paan kining mga bago. Mitubag sa Yesus. Ang kasulat na nagingon, ang tao mabuhi dili sa pan lamang, kundili sa matagpulong usab nga isulti sa Diyos. Unya gidala sa Yesus sa yawa ngadto sa Jerusalem, ang balaang syudad. O gipatindog siya sa kinatas ang bahin sa templo o giingnan. Anak ka man ka sa Diyos, ambak ngadto sa ubos, kinagingon man ang kasulatan. Ang Diyos, magsugo sa iyang mga anghel, magbantay ka nimo. Sabnayon ka nila, anong dili maikong sa bato, bisan gani ang imong tiil. Si Jesus mitubag, Apa nag-ingon usap ang kasulatan, ayaw tintala ang ginoo nga imong Diyos. Unya gidala si Jesus sa yawa ngadto sa usa ka habog kaayong bukid, Ugi pakita kaniya ang tanang gingharian sa kalibutan.